hi guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here hello my name is Eliza. welcome back to or welcome to my channel i would recommend for you to subscribe right now because you don't you do not want to miss out on any of my cheese man videos every time i do a get ready with me you know you guys already know i'm coming in with some cheese man you know how i wear a mask to school and stuff like that um lately i just got this rash i got it like yesterday it started on my neck like little ronchitas and i was like Dude, I got scared because let me tell you guys about this one time. This one time that I was in seventh grade, I got a really, really bad allergic reaction. Like, bad. So basically, I was in class and I started giving me like this weird, like, how do you say in English? Stupid. Basically, like, I just started feeling like this, like, sensation to like scratch my neck. Like, I was like going crazy like i was itchy like it was really really itchy like around this area like all just my neck so like i was itching myself because i was like why isn't this like sensation or like the itchiness going away so i just kept itching myself i didn't really think anything of it and then my cousin she was all like she was sitting next to me and she was all like why is your neck red and i was like huh and then i was like oh it's because i was scratching myself and then i started scratching myself with like an eraser Cause it was so bad to the point where like my nails were just not doing justice like i needed something like <sighs> my cousin was like oh yeah like you have something on your like your neck is red and it's like full of like little ronchitas and i was like oh it's like my eraser i didn't think anything of it and then i think i went to like the bathroom because like i was just like what is going on with my neck like so then i went to the bathroom and tell me why like my whole like my whole chest was full of like little ronchitas it was like all the way up to here so like my whole neck was full of it and i was like i didn't know why like that has never happened to me and i was just like so scared because i was like what is going on with my body i tell my teacher and i'm like hey so like i'm getting like a little like itchy itch and she looked at me and she was like <gasps> she was like oh my god go to the nurse's office so i went to the nurse's office and then she sent me home because she was like oh like they need to come pick you up like you don't look so good like your neck is like you're getting like an allergic reaction to something like what did you eat and i was like that's the thing i didn't eat anything so then like my mom ended up coming for me and then the whole day like i was just having like really really bad itchiness like it didn't go away it started getting worse like it started like going up to my face my whole body like my arms were covered my back my legs everything even my pepa like it was bad like my pepa was like Ugh, nasty i didn't even know what to do like i just wanted to like drop and roll because like oh it was bad like i had so many like ugh, i was like ugh. they ended up taking me to the hospital and then they told me i had hives and i was like what and um up to this day i don't know how i got it i don't know where when how well i don't know where but i don't know how or why or like what i ate or what i touch that had like maybe like pollen that i'm like i don't know but ever since that day i've been traumatized to get hives again because that was probably the most like what the fuck just happened moment because it was out of nowhere now that i think about it or i think like we solved like the mystery like a couple months later because when that happened i was using this lotion from dollar tree my nana decided to get us a lotion from dollar tree y creo que Eso fue lo que me cayó mal because I stopped using it and my skin got better. And then I used it again and then like it was starting to come up again. I was like, <laughs> it was pretty traumatizing because if you ask me, now if I get like a little like, uh, they're not caught, watch. Is it a rash? My skin look like that. Like I look like a fresa. Have you ever had hives? Um, You guys understand? Or like ever had like a rash to the point where you cannot stop itching yourself? You know how bad it can get. Like you just... I hated it. Anyways, that was a weird way to start this video, but I just wanted to say that, yeah, like, I'm having, like, irritation right here. Yesterday at school, like, I started getting it on my neck. I was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I mean, I can tell you guys about the time I got, I find love with someone in Mexico. Like, okay, is it just me? But I don't know. Like, I don't think this anymore, but, like, back then, I used to be like, what if the love of my life is, like, in Mexico, and I'm over here, like, you know, falling for, like, someone here. At one point that I was gonna go move to Mexico with this one guy. <laughs> I wasn't going with looks anymore because I was tired of going for looks. Like every time I went for looks, some shit always happened. It was always a cute guys making me go through things I should have never went through. For example, do you guys remember the story time I told you guys that 
I was with Sosia. Okay, that guy was cute. And he knew he was cute. So he knew he can like pull. So that's why I was like, uh-uh. Like, I'm not doing any more like decent or even cute guys. I'm going for the ugly guys. Like, si me ponen el cuerno or like something, you know? I'm like, well, at least you're ugly. <laughs> I'm not going to say where, when, who, why, or how. My story times are anonymous. I do not say who these people are, I don't know what, I don't say dates, I don't say times, I don't say places or anything because then people put two and two together and then they like, you know, thinking that they know the whole story. Let me tell you guys a story of the time. I fell in love with a Bouchon. He wasn't one of those who just put the emojis and thinks he's Bouchon or one of the guys who cover their face and then things are Bouchon. Or like, no más traen troca del año se creen bouchones. No, none of that. This guy was bouchon. Like, dude, like he, like in short terms, he was one of those. You already know where, I'm not going to give too much information because, you know, I can truly say that he needed to cover his face. I met this guy through mutuals. Me lo presentaron and I was instantly like, whoa. If a song can describe him, this would be the song. Like if I can describe him like really quick without giving too much information that like he, dude he was let me just let me quickly describe him he was tall ojos verdes like you know like green like it was like green grayish I don't know dude I'll be like his beard like cerradita you know like very clean kept beard because I don't know about you guys but you guys know how like sometimes you meet guys with barbas but they're all like ugly and like hairy and just like not taken care of like they're not, they're not you know he was just a very good looking guy and, I, and he knew he was good looking he knew like that like, <laughs> like he can pull his truck <laughs> girl um chill anyway so i was just like damn like where has this guy been like did i've never heard about this guy or like i've never seen him or anything and obviously like when they introduced me to him and i was like why haven't y'all introduced me to him before but the thing was like okay like yeah he was cute and everything but then like inside of me i was like he gotta be home i just know that guys that think they're cute or that know they're cute they're automatically hoes like it goes same with the girl like you know when a girl knows she's pretty she knows she can pull so like a guy if he knows he's cute he can pull automatically i feel like guys with green eyes just know that they're like the shit but you know what other song like that mean i was like damn this is our song is this one talking to this guy and it was very it was really good he was really 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 sweet um obviously like i knew that i wasn't the only one out he was talking to and i was like fully aware of that so obviously i didn't i didn't stop talking to other people because you know i would only see him you know a couple times a month so it was Amor de lejos, amor de... My foundation looks so white because of the lighting, but I'll fix it right now. So, yeah, like I said, this guy, I I was just, like, amazed by everything. So, like I said, we started talking. Um, we hit it off really, really good. And then after a couple months, like, I started seeing that he was actually, like, really interested. Deep down in me, like, I kind of knew it was never going to work out in a way. He was really nice. Like, dude, I love that every time, like, you know, we'll hang out. Like, we will go do something. Me sea mucho rollo. Like, we'll be like, oh my god, like, let's go. Let's go here. Like, we'll go. And then, like, we always had something to do. Regardless, like, where we were at. And we'll go party. We'll go watch fights at, like, the center that, you know, in the location this was taking place at. Um, there is, like, there's this, like, wrestling thing. And, like, it's, like, just, like, comedy kind of. Um, but I love it. I love going there. So, like, he knew that was, like, my favorite place. So, like, he will always take me there. Like, we'll always go out to eat. Or, like, little things like that. So, we always had, like, a really, really good time. Uh, because we'll, like, try to spend as much time. Because we didn't really see each other or anything like that. And then, quickly, things started getting, like, serious, I could say. He never asked me to be his girlfriend or anything like that. We went to this one party together. And he was introducing me to his family as his girlfriend. 
that's weird i was a bit confused on why he was doing this because first of all he never told me i was his girlfriend he never gave me like any signs like oh you're my girlfriend and he was telling me like he wanted to travel like he really wanted to go um to this part of mexico he really really wanted to take me there and he really just wanted to travel so i was like so down for it but i knew as well that like my mom wouldn't let me so i started catching feelings for him and i really didn't want that to happen but i started catching feelings and yeah he always surprised me with gifts like he was very romantic you know ramos um he would oh, it was amazing I, I always had flowers on my vase like he would never you know how they say on tiktok he would never leave my vase empty like dude that was him he was so sweet and i know don't worry chamat guys if you guys seen my other story times he this guy was not married he did not have kids he did not have a girlfriend they uh, it went on for a couple months and i was really happy i was living my best life and then i just i wanted to keep things the way that they're going the one thing i do like regret so much is never making out with him Dude, can you believe that? We never, ever, and I can like put this on anything, like we've never, ever, like, no, like nothing, like we never, like, such like an innocent, like, oldie love, you know? He was really, really respectful, like, so, so respectful. Like, me respeto mucho, and he always has. So, like, I feel like that's why he never, like, <laughs> like, he will draw me off when my parents will tell me. Like, he was really respectful. Like, he always kissed me, like, like that. So, I do regret it. I do regret not ever, like, at least having a little makeup session with him or something. Dude, so, like, si me quedé como, like, hmm, I wonder how he kissed. Maybe he didn't kiss good. Maybe that's why he never French kissed me. But maybe he never made out with me because of that. But who knows? We'll, we'll never know. One of the times that we were hanging out, he was talking to me, like, very serious. And he was telling me, like, what he wanted with me, like, where he saw things between us he wanted me to go move in with him let me just say that this love was amor de lejos he wanted me to leave like my family to go live with him so my camera decided to die like in the middle of me telling you guys a cheese man but i ended up not doing my makeup i just ended up um picking on my outfit but yeah he wanted me to go move in with him and Prior before this, like I always like we we will have like some deep talks, and I will tell him like what kind of like house I wanted, like my future, like my plans, my dreams, and he will tell me like when um, when he told me to move in with him, he told me he's like I'll pay for everything you need, like if you need to go to college, I'll pay for your college, like I'll pay for the house, like you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to work. And I was like housewife, and like he was just telling me like you know to move in with him and stuff like that. And I will tell him, like, you know, I'm really young, like, I'm I'm trying to, like, my biggest goal is to finish high school. So I told him, like, I'm young, like, I'm not just gonna, like, leave my family at this age and be like, oh, yeah, like, I'm gonna go move in with, like, this guy now. You know, like, my parents would not allow that. I was, like, really thinking about, like, my YouTube, YouTube career. I was, like, imagine me making videos and then, like, just, I don't know, like, oh, yeah, I moved in a whole different country oh, and then like you're gonna start catching on prior like i said i will like tell him what i wanted i'll even show him like pictures like on tiktok or like just different um pictures that i had like ideas um of my mindset like of what i really wanted as my dream home and he will tell me like he can do it without a problem like all i will have to do is move in with him and i was just like and as much as I wanted to and as much as I wanted to stay with this guy because it was super super sweet I was just like I can't like I'm too young I still have like a whole life ahead of me like I was Dora I was exploring like I was trying to see what I liked in men and I really liked that in him and I feel like that's why I stick with the older guys I don't know anything about him but what I've heard around is that he is not with anyone right now but then I had a feeling if I were to be with him, I was gonna be like with other girls, you know, because he was attractive. You know, a lot of girls would want to be with someone like that. So obviously, he was gonna like be a little hoe. I did leave like a lot of things out just because I'm not scared, but I, I don't know who's gonna watch this video. So, like I mentioned, I did leave many things out just because I was like 
little scared of who was gonna watch this video or like if he would watch this video um but if you guys were all like on my live the other day i did talk about this story time so if it does sound familiar is because i already had talked about it and i explained and i went into details a little more and i did tell you guys like more parts of this story because there is a lot of like different situations um because after all of this something very very crazy went down but if you guys want to go ahead and like get a part two or something i don't know because i'm just kind of scared like he will like run across the video and then he's gonna be like try to get in contact with me again and i just do not want that but i just really quickly do want to mention that i left a lot of things out so if you did watch my live you guys are probably like why is she switching up the story but i'm just like sacándole la vuelta like certain details because um as well i can't really say a lot so i just try to keep it very short and simple and straight to the point this part of the story with this guy like story time um the whole point of the story time was the time that this guy wanted me to move in with him there's a little bit more after this so i'll probably do like another cheese video and talk about um everything that happened after because when i was telling you guys on my live you guys were all into it because trust me when i say it gets crazy this story takes a wide turn um so yeah this is just the little first part you know to warm you guys up <laughs> i really don't know where this video can end up i don't know if he can watch it i just i don't know so i'm like should i say these things and if you guys follow me on my instagram you guys might um have joined the live or it's my private account it's like my youtube spam but i did talk about this on there and i like went on details like i told you guys like full on the story like i even like you know i express myself a little better on there just because i know like the people who are watching and on here it's like a little bit more like it's here and it's gonna stay on here it was good while it lasted when i was on live everyone was like to Liza, you should have stayed with him like he was gonna take so good care of you no, te entendí ni verga. So, like you're gonna have your life and everything but like you know i was young um this happened a while back so i was young and i was just like kind of like no like and I, I it seemed too good to be true like it seemed too good to be true it just sounded too i don't know like just no we, we went our own separate ways and everything but like i said it was good while it lasted i feel like it would have never worked out because i was super young and amor de lejos amor de... or maybe he was just more of like a life lesson a memory and i was just like cherish all the memories because we have really good memories um i wish i could show you guys like all the pictures that was my little story time so, yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it so so much um like i said i'm very sorry if i like left any details out i was just very like trying to get everything out but not too much please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll go ahead and see you guys on my next video bye guys